Speaking speaking of players for the future, what about Joe Willock, man? How, yes. how are we yeah, how are we going time. to how are we actually going to use this guy? Because he's actually done so well at Newcastle that I personally think that Ateta might ruin him if he comes back. So we actually spoke about this last time you we were on Sally, and we made a clip out of it, and I can remember the clip because I edited it after, and, and the ending that everyone basically came to was he's done really well. Newcastle really like him. But yeah. everyone here said, let's sell him. Do you still agree with that? Or I, has he scored I, I so agree. many goals now that it's no, like... No, 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 sell him. Because, His because, ceiling's the highest because, right now that's ever going to yeah. be. Grab the money. Grab the money and run. Take the money and run. Because honestly, like I don't think he, he can do... With the freedom he, that Steve Bruce gives him, he can't do that at, at Arsenal. Because Ateta is just not... I don't think he would know how, how to use him, especially with Smith Rowe in, in, in the team. Like personally, like personally, I think there is probably another Frank Lampard um, that goal scoring midfielder, not ability, just the goal scoring aspect of of his game. I think that he, yeah. he, him coming back to Arsenal would just, um, Ateta would 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 ruin him personally. I I think just sell him and just get the money and run. I also think if you look at how Newcastle play, it actually suits the way that Joe Willock wants to play because he's often a late runner yeah. into the box and he also doesn't get that opportunity at Arsenal because of the way that we play football. Yeah. We play a different style to how Newcastle play and what works for him. And they also a lot of the time they see like, different players working different teams. I mean, if Joe Willock came back to Arsenal the next season, I wouldn't be mad at it, but I don't feel like he's going to get the same game time he would at Newcastle. Therefore, he would be you know, a bit part player in and out of the team. He struggled for consistency. At least he knows that Newcastle, that he gets game time uh, pretty much every week. He might be on the bench one week, but he'll still get 20 or 30 minutes. Whereas Arsenal, he'd probably get one in three, one in four games. He might get a start. He might get a sub appearance. Like he needs to be playing at his age. And he can't, I don't think he can take the risk that he comes back to Arsenal. Everything's going to work out. I think he needs to go out at a club. I think he's like 22 or something at the moment, isn't he? He's kind of gets yeah. to the stage of his career where he needs to actually play football and that he's he, he's not, like, because because we love Willock, right? He's come from the academy. He's an Arsenal boy. We've got a lot of affection for him, and we want the best for him. And I don't think Arsenal is that club for him at the moment. And I feel like we could hopefully get about thirty million, maybe twenty five million from this summer. If he keep, you know, he's had a good, he's got good potential, and like I'm sure teams in between, like I don't know, twelfth to sixth in the league would probably take a risk on him, maybe. So I feel like let's get some money for him. Let's invest into players that will suit our style of play that Arteta obviously wants to play. So okay, let know, me just give you a, an imaginary scenario, okay? Yeah, go on. So there's a Celta Vigo player called Joao Willaquinho, and <laughs> and I don't know where this is going. <laughs> he was signed from Brazil in January for a very shrewd two million pounds. Yeah. Um, and since then he scored seven goals in La Liga. Frequent late run into into the box, something that uh, Arsenal haven't replaced since Aaron Ramsey. And Joao Willaquinho is just looks like he'd fill all those holes in seven league goals in La Liga in a tough yeah. league in in only eleven games. And word on the on on the streets is that he'd be available for between twenty five and thirty million. That's an idea, Arsenal signing, isn't it? No, nah, because what you're also not taking into account is the fact that he's been at Arsenal for two or three years and he hasn't performed at all so let's that's you can't that's skewed because that's like saying that's the person we haven't experienced at Arsenal so we don't know how they're going to play we've seen how he played at Arsenal and he's not been good enough it's completely different you, that's like you can't use that but as an do people have the capacity to grow and improve of course they do but I'm saying like he's only I mean, he's, he, don't get me wrong, he's a decent player, he can score a goal, but I think that he's suited to Steve Bruce's kind of football. He wouldn't be getting these stats for Arsenal, that's for sure. Because we don't play to his strengths because he's not that big a player that he can that we can play to his strengths. We need to play to strengths like, you know, Aubameyang, we need to play to strengths like Pepe and Saka. Like, Joe Willock isn't, like, a you know, a key player for Arsenal, so he's never going to get that opportunity to do what he does. Like he'll be more thinking, like in a struct, like you know, with Arteta, he'd be more thinking about how he's going to get back and all this sort of stuff than he would be like going forward. Do you know what I mean? And getting onto things. At what point is seven goals in half a season in the Premier League worth adapting your tactics to accommodate? I I don't think I don't know. I I I'd, I wouldn't absolutely hate the idea of him coming back for another season to see how it goes. But I feel like it's also one of the things. Whereas if he comes back for a season and he doesn't perform. 
then we lose 15 20 million on his yeah. price yeah yeah so it's it's the risk it's the risk factor of that happening and of nah. course i i wouldn't even be against us saying we'll sell him for 5 to 10 million cheaper but we'll get a buyback clause on him do you know what i mean i'd happily sell him to like newcastle for 20 million but then have a 30 million buyback back, clause yeah. if if he if yeah. he come if if over the next couple of years he scores like i don't know he gets like 15 20 goals you know or like assists contributions then we can buy him back do you know what i mean and i feel like yeah. that wouldn't we never do it with our players and we never seem to do it but have buyback clauses and i feel like this is actually be a good one to have i i actually agree with you and and First there's something the as well <laughs> <laughs> and there's something that you said um said, said in there is assist record because we we have only seen his goals um is the the amount of goals he's getting i personally want want to see if he can actually assist um uh more but he hasn't done that i don't think he's done it that much at at newcastle but um he's got zero assists at newcastle yeah exactly exactly so coming back to our team and he's playing in in midfield where assists is pretty much um how we it's pretty much how we play um, our our midfielders don't score except for the like the wingers like Pepe and etc. Yeah. Emerson Smith Rowe doesn't score that that much. He assists more. Other guard same thing. All of those things like I haven't seen that side of his game. So I don't want the goals to kind of mask over his value because that's what yeah. he, that that's what he seems to be doing. And also play. We need to remember as well like the sample size is small and players do go through purple patches. That, you yeah. know, there's like Penteke is a perfect example of a player that had a one really good season <laughs> and then fell off the face of the earth. No, he Do you had know more what I mean? Like, good season. I mean, he had one good uh, season with Aston Villa and he didn't really have any more good seasons. He had he like scored 14 okay. or 15 in a season with Crystal Palace in his first season. Yeah, I don't believe he did. No, he no, did. That's why he he straight did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but um, fair enough. He's had two good seasons out of like 12, so fair play to Penteke. <laughs> <laughs> that was so salty. Come on, man. <laughs> Mate, we got. Have you got? Are you watching anything else you want to say? Because.